What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have another unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the 2016 February Japan Crate. And I've actually had this box for quite a while. It got shipped at the very beginning of the month, but I haven't had a chance to open it. Okay, that's a lie. I did have a chance to open it, but I skipped it for a bunch of other boxes because I wanted to unbox those more. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put the pricing details in the description below. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Now don't get me wrong, I really do love the Japan Crate. It's one of my favorites. I also like Tokyo Treat. Um, I have lately felt a little bit sick of the Japanese snack boxes because I think I kind of just jumped head first and got like all of the Japanese snack boxes that I could find. And then, you know, now I've been trying to find different types of boxes just because I've been getting duplicates and I don't know. I'm not tired of Japanese snack boxes, but it's definitely not as exciting as it was when I first started getting them. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of the items first and then we'll go ahead and try them. This is the booklet that it came in and these are all of the items with descriptions. Three different pricing plans that you can get. There's the mini, the original, and the premium. So I'll go in order with that so you kind of know what you'd get in each one. So first in the mini box, we have Topu Trio Stick Gum. Six individually wrapped chewing gums that are perfect to carry on the go. Three different flavors, cola, cider, and grape. Then we have Chorus Grape and Soda Kajiri Toyo, a refreshing soda flavored taffy wrapped in a layer of chewy grape taffy. This stick has a similar consistency to gum but dissolves over time. Oh, that sounds exciting. Then we got the Twin Bow Drink Gummy. I actually have gotten these before. Each of these sugar coated sour gummies features two different flavors red equals cola, blue equals ramune, green equals lemon lime, or lime, and yellow equals lemon. Pair them together for an intense flavor adventure. Then we have Chip Star. Norishio. This receivable tube of potato chips is a lot like American Pringles, but they have tasty Japanese flavor, seaweed and salt. I'm looking forward to those. And then the last item in the mini crate is Noricho Soft Cider Strawberry Cones. A bonus item for all crates. Mix this included powder, so it's a DIY kit. You basically mix the powder with water and then it becomes some kind of something. Okay, on to the original. First item in the original crate is, it's another DIY kit. This is the Heart Limited Oikaki Choco DIY. Basically, you mix the little chocolates and you put them in little dots and then you can make a lollipop. I'd be disappointed if I got the original crate because there's technically only three items on top of the mini crate that you get, so that's kind of sucky. Next, we got Petite Pastels Ice Cream Cookies and Chocolate. Adorable mini ice cream cone and a sort of fun shaped chocolate with a crunchy wafer center. The box includes two packages so you can split them with a friend. Oh, nice. And then the last item in the original box is Super Lemon. Push your tongue to the limit with an entire bag of Angelou Wrap sou Super Sour Lemon Hard Candies. Okay, on to the premium box. So premium, of course, you get all of those items plus these. You get, ah, oh, Ramune. There's 12 different flavors. I got Ramune. <laughs> That's okay, I like the regular Ramune flavored. Do you want me to show you what all the flavors were though? It tells you. Coconut, strawberry, pineapple, blueberry, raspberry, watermelon, and original. I'm glad I didn't get coconut. That sounds odd to me. All right, then we got Yakin Budo Grape Gummy. Reminiscent of fruit snacks, but softer in texture, these yummy grape gummies are a favorite amongst Japanese children. And we got Yokin Maguchu Strawberry, a stick of Indulge wrapped chewy strawberry candies. These remind us a lot of high chews. We also got, which they don't list, a couple uh, Kit Kats. These are probably, I'm assuming, green tea. We got three of them. Oh, I can't really tell because it's in Japanese, but I got three of those. Ah, oh my gosh. I'm so all over the place right now. And then the last item is our gachapon. I don't know if this is considered a gachapon because it's, it's giant. These are a bonus. It's a mini ramen bowl. Beautifully crafted mini bowls of ramen that look good enough to eat. Receive one in ten different styles. I think I got either clam or oysters. This is neat. This is kind of neat. It's like a keychain. Ew. It doesn't smell good, but this is the bowl that I got. I thought that these either look like clams or oysters, if you can see the side view. It is very good in detail. I got broccoli, green onion, I don't know what else that is. That's cool though, neat. 
I mean, I don't know if anyone actually uses this as a keychain, but this is a cool little thing. It's it's really big though. It's like really big. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try some of these items. If you don't wanna watch me try them, then you should click off now. Oh, let's see what I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try the gum, because it's usually all the same. I'm not gonna do either of the DIY kits, because I don't have time for that. I'm not gonna do the Ramune, it's very Ramune. And I'm not gonna do the Green Tea Kit Kat, because I don't like Green Tea Kit Kat. Oh, and I'm not going to do the Twin Bow because I've had these. Recently, I got these, so. Let's try this grape taffy. I'm quite interested to try this. Here's what it looks like. And it smells like uh, Asian grape, like Asian grape gum. It has the same consistency as, as Asian gum or Japanese gum, but it, and it tastes the same, but apparently this one dissolves. I wouldn't say this is like taffy. Taffy isn't like this. It's got a little bit of a carbonated taste to it. Almost like it has like ramune in it or something. Oh, it's grape and soda, that's why. Okay. Let's try these Yokan Budo grape gummies. They say it tastes like fruit snacks. Oh, yeah, it's got the permanent marker smell to it. It wasn't as strong, although that kind of hit later on. Okay, they come in these little, they look like, they look exactly like fruit snacks. These are little grape shaped fruit snacks. I'm still trying to figure out this autofocus guy. Sorry, there it is. There it is. Tastes like a fruit snack to me. Oh, so sweet. I wasn't gonna try these, but I'm gonna go ahead and open one because it says that there's two packs in it. I think there's five different flavors, but they don't tell you what the flavors are, so. Smells like chocolate. I have no idea what the flavors are. I'm gonna try this pink one. This is what it looks like. It's like chocolate with a pink ball on top. Oh, it's melting already. Oh, the ball on top is like a crispy wafer. I don't think there's different flavors. I think they're just different colors. They just taste like chocolate. All right, here's the strawberry candy. They said that tastes like high chews. This thing still wants to focus on my face all the time. There we go. Oh yes, they're individually wrapped and they look just like high chews. Strawberry high chews are my favorite. It's probably one of the only high chews that I eat, to be honest. This looks exactly like a high chew. Well, strawberry flavor is not as strong, I think, as a high chew is, but oh, good. it's not as like chewy as a high chew, I don't think. It seems a little bit more tangy. All right, let's try one of these lemon super sour candies. I'm not a huge fan of sour things. Like, I don't mind things with like sour sugar on them, like sour punch straws and things like that. But like, I was never a huge Warhead fan. I mean, I liked Warheads, but I used to always just wash them because I didn't like the sour part. I just liked the candy part. So I don't know how much I'm going to like these. Oh, gosh, they look very sour. Ugh, I love lemon drops. So I like lemon candy. Well, for the most part, but I don't know if you can see the white. Ugh, you can't really tell. It's like covered in white powder. feel it cutting up my mouth. Ugh. This actually tastes like real lemon. I love lemon. I love sour. Like, it's weird. I love, like, lemon sour, but I don't know if I like candy lemon sour. But now it's back to the sweet thing, and now it tastes like a lemon drop. Or not lemon drop, a lemon head. Oh, I love lemon heads. Ah. Now it's just a hard candy that tastes like a lemon head. I'm not a huge fan of the sour flavor, but I must say that the sour only lasted, it, it was a very short amount of time. Like when I see warheads, I used to have to like, I used to wash them, but if not, I would just keep it on the side of my mouth and try not to touch it for a while, like a really long time though, because warheads last a lot longer than this. All right, the last item that I'm gonna try are these Chipstar uh, seaweed and salt flavor. I'm quite excited about this. It's a Nabisco product, that's fun. Oh. Just like Pringles, sort of, they're in actually packaged, like, and there you go, breaking the entire pack again. Oh, these look interesting. So this one's broken, but this one, like, the seaweed's very much inside the chip. You can see the little speckles. It, tastes, it smells like a Pringle. Basically, every single chip is broken, but that's okay. It tastes good. Not a very strong seaweed flavor. You get the salt, 
It tastes just like an original Pringle with a hint, a hint of seaweed. Like, very, very subtle, tiny, teeny flavor of seaweed. It's not strong at all. Look, I got one that's not broken. I mean, you can tell it's like legit a Pringle. I like those. All right, that was your 2016 February Japan crate. Let me just show you really quick. This is the Segoy crate. Um, it looks so much fun. This, If I were to win one, this is the one I'd want to win. But I really don't know how this all works because you never hear of anybody ever winning these things. This one comes with a 3DS, so that's fun. Yeah, that'd be fun to win. If I had to rate this box, I like it. I wish that it had more savory items, and I know I always say that, but... It sucks because it only had one savory item out of the whole box, which is kind of disappointing. Like I said, if I were to get the uh, one of the sizes, I would either go for the mini or the premium because the original only came with three items on top of, you know, the mini. So I don't know really how much, uh, how worth it it was. But yeah, I like this box a lot. I think this box is actually kind of pricey. I think it's like $25, so it is a little bit on the pricier end. It might be a little bit more than that. I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. If I had to rate this box, the one good thing that I like about it is that I only got a couple duplicate items that I've received in other boxes, so that's really, really nice because I usually get a ton of duplicate items and then it's not a lot of fun. If I had to rate this box, I'd probably give this box a 3.75 out of 5 noobs. Uh, it would have been higher if I would have gotten all new items that I've never received and if I got more savory items. Alright, that's all I have for you in this video. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about this box. I know a lot of you guys do get the Japan crate. What did you think of the items? I'm not a huge fan of sweets, but I, I'm glad that not everything was chocolate flavored. There was a lot of fruity things, which I liked. I appreciate that. Um, and like I said, it was cool getting a bunch of new items that I haven't received, so that's good. But yeah, let me know what you thought about it, and remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!